Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Quick Bits with me, XB Crafted. Um, today I want to talk a bit about my seed spotlights. Um, I've been asked several times how I find my seeds and what criteria do I follow before I decide if a seed is worth spotlighting or if it's not worth spotlighting. My first criteria, as I'm pretty sure everyone's is, is spawn. I just spawned here. This is a random world. And so far, the spawn looks pretty good. You're in a, this is a meadows. Yeah, we're in a meadows. You've got lots of open area. Lots of open area. And a village. Now, this would start off to be a pretty good seed. I would consider this. Now what I would do is I would come over here, of course, mark spawn. That's one of the first things I do. I mark that. And then if there's a village, I come over to the village. I look, I see what's in the village. Uh, here, obviously, there's a bee villager. There is a blacksmith. Uh, we'll look, see if anybody else is here. Oh, there's a mistcraft guy. Okay, so this is turning out to be a, a, you know, a better seed than what it was with just a village next to spawn. Okay, so after that, I would mark this. Just call it village. Yeah, and then from here, I would look at the map and I would fly in a direction about I, I generally don't like to go any further than 300 blocks away from spawn. Um, the way I see it is if you can't find anything within 300 blocks of spawn then it's generally not a very good seat. So I would come out to about this far and I would just go in a big circle, constantly checking how far from spawn I am. Oh wow, look at that guy. What are you, guy? Here, let's grab some of the old night vision potion here. Grab some of that and take a closer look. Um, yeah, this is the kind of stuff I look for. Just I like interesting mountains. Uh, well, interesting terrain is, you know, like I say, that's one of the things I look for. I love interesting terrain. Now, that's interesting just that it spawned kind of odd and tall and skinny. But you would ask, well, is that really worth doing a seed spotlight? And my answer would be absolutely not. That, I would, that would not be a criteria for a seed spotlight. There would have to be more. And we got some world holes. So, yeah, I would, you know, try to stay, uh, you know, between 200 and 300 blocks away from spawn, constantly checking the map, constantly looking around. Uh, if I see, like, an interesting looking hole or anything like that, I will investigate it, uh, see if there's any dungeons or mine shafts or anything of that sort. Um, constantly looking for villages. Um, these wastelands are actually a hindrance for me doing a seed spotlight. If there's a wasteland around spawn, generally I will not do a seed spotlight for it. Wastelands uh, are ugly. I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there that likes them, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, well, sorry for saying they're ugly, but I personally do not like them. My seed spotlights are honestly about seeds I enjoy that I wouldn't mind getting in a world I created to do an LP or just to screw around. I mean, I do, you know, building and stuff off camera. You guys probably will never see. Uh, it's just my own personal thing because, uh, you know, you got to have your own thing that you do that is just for you. Uh, that's, you know, that's just the way it is. 
So really, this seed is not looking very good. Yes, we have a spawn next to a village in a meadow's biome. But what else do we have? We have this little volcano, which I would only mention if there was something like close to it. But as you can see, we're about three, about 250 away from spawn, 230, 240, 250, and it's ocean. This is bad. This is another thing that would hinder me from making this a seed spotlight. Now, don't get me wrong. If you think this seed looks looks like something you might want to build on, just ask for the seed, and oh, and it's yours. I like. I would not do a seed spotlight here. I mainly just created a random world to just talk about my criteria and how I find them. So we've talked about the criteria. Let's talk about how I find them. It is completely random. There is no real method to finding my seeds. It is completely random. I use I don't use words. I I find that's bad. I've tried it before, and you more often than not you will find a seed that someone else has already found. Um, your best bet is to use a random string of numbers. Uh, I found that that works fairly decent 99% of the time. Um, for that other 1% of the time, oh, see, here's a ravine that I didn't see before. Uh, you look in the ravine, see if there's anything good, maybe like another, you know, is it a dual ravine? Uh, which it doesn't look like this is. Right. So it's not a dual ravine, it's just a ravine. There's no mine shaft. Uh, I don't see any exposed dungeons. Um, I don't see any dungeons in here. Yeah, nothing that way that I can see. Um, anything down here? Nothing. Nothing. And... Nothing. So yeah, um, honestly, this would probably not be a seed spotlight. Um, there's, I'm just not, I'm not seeing anything that would make me want to do a seed spotlight here. Um, I've seen people do, you know, seed spotlights just because they spawn next to a village, uh, which you know that's fine. You know, if if that works for you, that works for you. This is this is a video about how I choose my seeds. There has to be something that intrigues me. Um, a village does not intrigue me. Uh, big holes in the ground, big natural, ginormous holes, those intrigue me, because those are you know those are great for building. Those you know, it's a pre-built basement. You just cover it over and you got yourself a basement. So yeah. Um, I just real quick wanted to just, you know, like I said, I've been asked before how I find them, where I find them, you know, what criteria do I go by to do a seed spotlight. And I just real quick wanted to cover that. Again, if you want the seed to this, just let me know and you shall have it. Uh, if this looks like somewhere you might want to build, then yeah, more power to you. But yeah, like I said, this would not be a seed spotlight. Um, if I find stuff, you know, like say there was this this village, and then like say there was like a big volcano right there, and then like there was some red rock over there, and then like maybe some autumn woods over there, I would do a seed spotlight. <clears throat> but what I would do before is I would go underground and look for dungeons. Um, I'm, I've been doing that less and less, as you may have noticed if you keep track of my seed spotlights. Um, I've been kind of trying to waver you know, away from it because, as, you know, as far as I'm concerned, discovering what's in your seed is part of the fun. Um, like, I'll point out some dungeons. There's dungeons I find that I don't point out because 
one, you know, either there's absolutely nothing good in it or it's just too much of a pain to get to. But you've seen, like, I 99% of the time I just dig straight down to it. So, yeah, um, hopefully this answered a few questions on how I do what I do, why I do it. Um, again, it's it's about what I find interesting unless I get a request. Then I might do a spotlight on it and I might not. I've got many requests where it was personal messages. I sent them the seed. They thanked me and we went our separate ways. So, yeah. Uh, here, let me come down here. I'll look in here for you. Just to see what's in here. Uh, some iron junk. Nothing too spectacular, really. Uh, let's go see what the bees are. So you get Marshy Queen. And Meadows with some untreated frames. What's this guy want? Uh, dense Twilight Forest Biome. Three emeralds. Where's the bee guy? Or, yeah, where's the bee guy? Hello? Bee guy? Did he get eaten by zombies already? It's not in there. Is he in here? No. Is he in here? No. Where the hell did he go? Um, where the hell did the bee guy go? See in here. Aha. You. Uh, princess for an ember. Okay. So yeah, uh, hopefully this, you know, if you were one of those people wondering how I find my seeds, uh, it just comes down to random. So I'm um, sorry, you know, if you expected some kind of grand design or something, like some kind of method to, I guess, my madness. Um, I love looking for seeds. I thoroughly enjoy going through seeds, seed after seed after seed after seed, looking for stuff. I love it. Uh, just to see just, you know, the different generations. And, and I will say it is much, much harder to find a decent vanilla seed than it is a Feed the Beast seed. Um, you may have noticed I haven't uploaded a vanilla seed in quite some time. There's a reason for that. I haven't been able to find one in quite some time. And I trade off. You know, one day I'll go through a, a crap ton of vanilla seeds. The next day I'll go through a crap ton of Feed the Beast seeds. So the few you guys see me upload as one of a hundred, maybe. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the seeds that I do spotlight. Um, I'm sorry I can't show them all to you, but I just, I don't have that kind of time. Um, and frankly, 99% of them just ain't worth it. So, yeah. Alright guys, uh, thanks for, like, sticking around through all my jibber-jabber. Um, like I say, if you want to see, leave a comment, and I would more than gladly give it to you. Alright guys, see you later.